Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Enyola Bad Moss TV. Here's a trending story for today. Emotions, sadness and crying thrills the burial ceremony of Ibido Igodalo in Lagos. Details in just a little bit. I can't believe you are gone. Oh, I was shocked and sad when I heard the news. Oh no, I can't believe you are gone. Oh, I was shocked and sad when I had the news. The ex-beauty queen and event planner Ibidu Ajayi Godalo has been laid to rest in Lagos on June 20th, 2020. The 39-year-old wife of popular pastor Itwai Godalo of Trinity House Church passed away on Sunday, June 14th in Port Harcourt River State where she had gone to erect some COVID-19 isolation centers. Tears and emotions flowed as Ibidu was buried on Saturday afternoon at the Vault and Garden Cemetery in Lagos State. Prayers were offered for the repose of her soul as well as for God's protection for her husband, Pastor Itwai Godalo, their two children, Keke and Zena, a mother, a siblings, as well as a work and foundation she left behind. The funeral service was aired live via the church's social media platforms and attended by top Nigerian officials such as Governor Rotimi Akiri Dolu of Ondo State, who also represented Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State. The former Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, was also present, as well as Pastor Idowi Uluyomade, personal assistant to the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adebue. Pastor Adeboe before now had said that the news of Ibidu in Godalo's demise was really saddening, but he knew she had gone to be in a better place. Also talking about the ex-beauty queen was the vice president of Nigeria who shared a video message during the tribute night. Here is the video. I was shocked and heartbroken by the news of the passing of our dear princess as we called her. Ibidu's kindness, her generosity, her love and commitment to family, to friends and the faith will live in our hearts always. She was so giving of herself, her time and resources to helping others fulfill their dreams, especially through the Ibidu Ikodalo Foundation, where she helped so many families experience the joy of parenthood. And this she did with such graciousness in the midst of her own personal struggles. In just a few hours after her passing, we have seen the massive, spontaneous expression of grief from far and wide, based on the sheer reach of her work, her love and concern for others. Even those who never met her physically were touched by her generosity and her kindness. Man of God, we have no words adequate to comfort you, Keke and Zenon. Accept our confidence that Ibidu now is with the Lord Jesus Christ in peace and joy. We pray for you, the children and the family, that the Lord will reach into the depths of your hearts and let new shoots of joy and peace spring forth from the arid barrenness of the soul, that this darkness will yield to his marvelous light, and that this night of weeping will be short and that the joy of the morning will be soon and eternal. Our thoughts and prayers at this time are with the entire Ikudalo and Olale Ajayi families and our brethren of the Trinity House, Nigeria. May the Lord God bless and comfort you all. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi wonderful people, my name is Emiola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Emiola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose masks to be protected above all guys let's stay safe here is a clip from the burial ceremony at the graveside of ibidu igudalo in lagos 
You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. If you don't mind, we can stand to worship Jesus. He's been our strength and our help. He has never lost a battle. He will not lose any battle. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Everybody say it. Nigba timoro, ishe ya nure la yimi, muri pe oga, muri pe oga, muri pe oga baba. Everybody say Nigba timoro. Come on, let's raise our voices. Ishe ya nure la yimi, muri pe oga, muri pe oga baba. My mom was a beautiful woman. She acted like a woman who came from a place no one would know. She's very strong and she feels everyone's pain. And she knows the way everybody goes through when they are not very happy. And she helps them. She does all she can do. And she's like someone I don't know. She's been a great mother to me. And I've never had such a woman like this. Thank you. Tributes are still coming from different quarters. Oh, am I glad we're 
I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bibles TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that there's pandemic in the land. We need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. Again, we'll pray for God to grant the family that she left behind the fortitude to bear the loss. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV. More stories in a little bit.